Hi there, your computer friend Connie here. So today we're going to talk about, um, we're going to talk about Word. We're going to talk about what is a section break in Word. So this is a feature that I, that I struggle with uh, in the beginning with Word. I'm like, what is this thing doing? Like, why is this document so weird or not working properly? And um, I know I've, I've, I've helped some of my clients with some documents where they've, they've ha said, you know, this document doesn't work, it's not cooperating, things aren't working. And we, when we look kind of behind the scenes, we see that it's because of something like this. There's lots of uh, section breaks or breaks in places where there shouldn't be. So let's look at how to do this the best way possible. And then, uh, then we can move forward and, and see, you know, where we can use it and, and maybe how to spot it as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go into this document. Uh, don't mind my graphics. This is nothing about looking uh, good or being a designer here. I'm just showing you some word stuff. So we're gonna go into this document. It's about three pages long, and we're gonna use uh, page breaks and section breaks. So right now there is a page break after this first page and uh, there's a page break after the second page and I want to actually just show you what that looks like. So aside from seeing it just on the page, what we're going to do is going to go up to the toolbar and show this uh, the show hide paragraph marker on the toolbar. You're going to click on that and then I want you to see that where this page break is on the main page, the first page, it says page break in fact and then on the second page it says page break, but actually it doesn't say page break. It says section break, go to the next page. So it's a little bit of a different kind of break there. So I'm going to get rid of this second one. So when you're trying to get rid of these things, it is good to turn that paragraph marker on so you can see what you're working at. Click on that line somewhere and then just hit delete. So now this, these, this text comes to that page and then I'm going to, I'm going to turn this show hide thing off and one of the reasons you know aside from just wanting stuff on a separate page um, another reason why you might want to break the page is because you want to do something different on the next page or in the next section so maybe you have um, a certain heading or a footer on your first section and then on your second section you have a different heading and a different footer that would be a reason to have a section break um, the other thing might be uh, maybe I'm going from doing portrait pages to doing landscape pages. So you can't, you can't do that. If I just do a page break here, so I'm just going to do a quick page break again. And let's say on this page, the sec this third page here, I want it to be landscape. I'm going to go into my layout and into orientation and choose landscape. It makes that page landscape, but it also made everything else landscape. So because it's just like, well, you want your document landscape. Okay, here you go. It didn't know that. No, I only want this section and forward to go landscape. So I have to tell it, you know, at this point forward, whatever changes I make to this page or subsequent pages, um, should happen and everything before it should just be left alone. So that's where you want that special section break to happen. So I'm going to go and change this back to portrait. And I could backspace to get rid of this page break, but I really like you guys to maybe get used to seeing stuff like that. So you know, you're getting rid of the right thing. So I did hit control enter to make this page break and notice it says the word page break. It doesn't say section break. Uh, so let's just backspace over that. So as long as I can see it, I really like seeing that that code or that wording so I know what I'm deleting. So that's that's why I have you turn these guys on, this show and high thing. So let's turn that back off. We don't need to see it anymore. And now let's do the proper section break so that we get this on a separate page and then have it treated differently like a different section so I can put a different heading on it or I can put make it um, landscape like I was just trying to do. So let's see if I can get this to work with you. Let's go into layout and then uh, I'm going to go to breaks. So rather than control enter which is a shortcut, control enter is a shortcut to create a page break. Rather than doing that I want to go into my layout menu choose breaks from there and then say it's a section break. And I'm just going to say the next page is where the section starts. OK, 
Okay, so it just it looks like a basic page break, really. I'm just gonna get rid of this extra line. And if I turn the show hide on again, it says section break. Okay, so section break is different than a page break. So let's go back, turn that off. And now that I'm on this page, I want this page to be landscape. I want it to be different than the other two pages. So let's go to layout again. Let's go to orientation and let's go to landscape. And there you go. These are still portrait. Hopefully you can see that. I'll make it a little bit smaller. Uh, zoom in a little bit. Yeah, two portraits and one landscape. So that's one of the biggest um, advantages to using that section break. And let's say I wanna go to portrait again after this page. You know, maybe I wanna do another page break. So I did a page break, which is control enter, and notice it's still landscape, but I don't want that. I want it to go back to portrait again. So what I could do, I'm just gonna, I'm just going to uh, turn that show hide on again. Get rid of that page break. Whoops. And this time go back to insert, I mean, uh, layout, and then go breaks, next page. And now here that I'm on the fourth page here, I'm gonna go to orientation and say portrait again. Right? So isn't that cool? You can just kind of make this change. So that's why you have all these section breaks because you're saying this section is special. Certain things are happening in the section only. And you know, you may want to go back through some of your documents. If you have some documents that are really acting weird and not cooperating with you, then go back, look at the code um, by doing the show or hide and see, is it a section break that um, where these things are happening or is it a page break? And a page break just stops the page and starts a new one. It continues all everything throughout the whole document. Section break lets let lets it say you know let's go to a new page, but let's also make it so that things that I do from here on are going to affect this page forward. Okay, so try that out, check it out, um, look at some of your documents, see what you have set up there, and uh, hopefully this tip uh, can help you work smarter and uh, get more done in a day. Thanks. Bye bye.